Oh, please welcome the one and only Brian Conley. <laughs> Freezing, but freezing. Oh, You've got to get the heating on in here. I'm telling you, okay. You want to have a go? Quick, oh, yeah. oh, oh, you're right. I know. I'm, my nipples are gone. Oh, everything. <laughs> oh, you are cold, darling. Where's your heels? Sorry, love. So Where's cool. your high heels? Um. Oh, yeah. Oh. That, yeah. That was quite warm. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, well, well yes. Time. That's why I thought I'd make an effort dressed as a man. You yeah. know, so... Um, well, you I'll don't do that very often now, do you? No. Eight me. times a week? <laughs> Eight times a week, and I'm working with uh, Mickey Dolans from the Monkeys. Yes. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Who's Mickey playing? Uh, he plays my husband, Well Burr. <laughs> and uh, I, so I get to kiss him. I get to kiss a monkey every night. <laughs> yeah. There's a change from a puppet, eh? I ain't it's a puppet. That's how you do it. Claire. I know, it's I'm a sorry. And he said, is, is Les going to go in as well? Is Les Dennis going Yes, in? Les is doing the tour with me, yeah. Are you going to be uh, kissing him as well? Oh, I'm a right tart. Yeah. I don't care, me. I'll kiss anyone. Fussy, have you? No. Kissed? No. Yeah. <laughs> Never kissed. Oh, your hands are crazy. I know, I told you. So are our thighs now. But, um, yeah, no, I'm loving it. It's good fun. And uh, I've enjoyed it. And uh, you're and job sharing it now, though. You're job sharing Edna, aren't you? Yeah, me and Michael, we're sort of like uh, Ball. Mr. Ball or Bally. We just Ball call him Bally. You know what I mean? I Ball. <laughs> and uh, he's doing it uh, 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 as well. In the next couple of weeks, we, he starts in Cardiff, and then after that, uh, the. What are you laughing at? You just make me laugh. Why? Because you're just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you just well, make me laugh because I'm always waiting for the punchline. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Me and Colleen, we go back. Is it Michael, or is there someone else sharing <laughs> it as well? Uh, yes, uh, Michael Starkey. Michael oh. Starkey's doing it as well. He's doing Sunderland. Oh, wow. And I think it'd be very good. He's, he's never played Edna. You know, me and Michael obviously have, but he hasn't, so, you know. It's a brilliant show. I went to see it, actually. Well, not with me in it, though. No. I went mean, ages ago before you were doing yeah. it. No, that's oh, not yeah. true. She's just a show. big fan of Michael Ball. Yeah, that's Michael nice, Ball wasn't in it either. He's oh. understood, it, it's understood he was on. No one turned was out. It? it was just you on your own. It's just me. <laughs> Michael was off when I got there as well. Yeah. It was understood. He was brilliant, but yeah. it's like such a feel-good show. It's fantastic. Oh, it is. And that and it's part is just... Oh, it's a gift. I love it. I How really do. How are you finding do. the high-heel situation, though? They're all right. And my big fat swimming. suit, you know, and all that game. You know, I, I used to wander about the house in my high, high heels, get used to them. Because mm. I normally only used to do that on a Wednesday, but now <laughs> I've done it all week, you know. Why have you got a telephone number there? Joe Brent left me a phone number oh, so right, I can get my kids into the same school as well. <laughs> It's not what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> Ever been mistaken for anyone else? <laughs> I mean, who do you think? Oh... Oh, I knew you'd say something like that. Uh, the thing is, with people, and I'm sure you've had it, is people do this. If you're in, like, Tesco's, it's my voice that gives it away. Yeah. And they go like this, they go, it's you, isn't it? It's you, <laughs> it's you. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> who is it? Who is it? <laughs> And you say your name, I go, I'm Brian Connolly. They go, that's it, that's it. Like as if I don't know who I am. You know, they go, that's it, that is, that's right, you're right. I know. And I, I bought a house um, by the coast, and a little old lady was taking us around the house. And she said to me, she said, um, can I just say, you really look like Brian Connolly. And I was just about to go, oh, yeah. You know, she said, can I just say, you really look like Brian Connolly. No offence. <laughs> And you, you see, you don't have that problem, but we have that problem if you're in the toilets, you know, like men in the toilets. You know, like the big silver urinal and all that. You can't stand there if you're famous because people go, hey, bro, I call it. Hey, go, hey. You know, that's the problem you have being a man. You're all right, you're in like the cubicles. Who do you think you look like, though? Have you got someone who you think you look uh, like? Well, when I was younger, it had to be, um, don't laugh, Dick Van Dyke. Image! Oh, yeah. People used to go, yes. Mary Poppins as I live and die. So, and of course, I got to play Chitty Chitty. Well, not Chitty Chitty Bam, that's a car, but I got to play Crack. Yeah, you did. I saw you do that. You'd be good playing playing the role of Mary Poppins, though, wouldn't you? I think I'm a bit past it now, don't you? No, not from a distance. What's that all about? You're gorgeous. Do you? Yeah, I think more George Clooney. Really? Yeah. Can I have yeah. that in writing? Yeah. yeah, can I have your phone number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah me and Colin, you be my... we, we, could, we could have been there. I mean, much, yeah. you know. We could have. Was, How yeah. far back do you when two go, though? Younger no, and good-looking. Yeah. <laughs>
no. Um, we go back uh, to St. Austell. Yes. Uh, um, no, and, and <laughs> chemistry was number one mm. in the charts, and you were about 17 or maybe even a bit young, and you were going out with a keyboard player, a drummer, right, and I yeah. had the real hot clean. Did you? And I, I got all embarrassed when I was nearer, you know, and sort of oh, like, great place. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Oh, no. Were you yeah. aware of this, call? No, not at all, actually, no. because. Um, well, he never let me know, and then he just flirted with all my other sisters. So I was yeah, thinking I did, yeah. it was Annie Nolan yeah. in a well, storm. Well, maybe, maybe you needed a bit of quick fix therapy to get over that obsession. Then, what do you think of that? We were talking about. I think that. it's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? What you can, yeah. you know, three minutes. I believe in therapy. I think it's good. I, I, I don't drink anymore. I packed that in about eight years ago. I get very thirsty, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I went and had some help, and I love what he said to me, the guy, because. Um, I said, look, it's becoming an issue, you know, like, I can't get up early with the kids and all that game, I've got to pack this in. And I said, I'm going on holiday to Antigua, and it's all inclusive, and when I come back, that's when I'm going to focus on this not drinking thing. And he said, well, Mr Connolly, won't there always be an Antigua? Won't there always be a wedding? Yeah. Won't there always be a weekend? Won't there always be a friend's party? He said... He said, now's the time, and I went, yeah, you're right, and, uh, and that was it, you know, with some help, you know, people go, oh, I don't drink, and I only drink at weekends, I think you do need a bit of help, you know, yeah. and to well, go somewhere, happening. and I feel so much better, but I must say, the first eight months was hell, you know, sitting there, everyone getting drunk and talking rubbish, and I'm like, with me lemonade, going great, right yeah. you know, but it got better, you know, and I feel better for it, you know, I feel much better as a person. It's lovely to see you. Oh, thank, thank you, you very you much so indeed, much, everybody. Brian, Brian Connolly, everyone. Oh, bless you.